Got good shit in stock today. I used to be a cop, believe it or not. That well? I'm just gonna grab some shot eye. All right, okay, let's go. I got it. Ricky, I'll, I'll be right there. Deacon out. Hey, someone's here. It's St. John. He's okay. What's going on? Nothing. Right in the okay. crease there. Okay, got it. Let me secure it in, okay? There you go, that's better. Okay. Hey, brother. Look what oh. Ricky did. What? Made me a new toy. Oh, well, I was all Deacon. <laughs> oh, that's he really, really cool, Boozer. Hey, uh, I could have been one of those, yeah. those three goddamn musketeers. Oh, on guard, you fucking that's ripper. Right. Pretty cool. Oh, hey. Jesus. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, well, maybe hey. this wasn't that good of an idea? You yeah, made it. Damn it. Okay. Hey, 
How's it going, Deke? How's it going, Joe? Ah, got it. All right. See you later, Deke. Me and a couple of guys burned out a nest a few weeks back. You know, a freaker nest. Call a female came out. What do you call them? A screamer? Yeah, let me tell you. They call them that for a reason. Brought... St. John, you there? It's O'Brien. Hold on. Brian, I'm sick of doing your dirty work. You got news for me or not? Yeah, I, I mean, yes, I have news. Well, then what is it? I need you to do one last job. Were you listening to what I was just saying? I'm done with one this. One more job, then I'll meet you in person, show you what I got. Forget it. Her middle name. It was Irene, right? Sarah, Irene, Whitaker. It's on her admission form. One last job. One last job. I sent you the coordinates. O'Brien out. Yeah. You remember that Nero bastard I told you about, yeah. O'Brien? Well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I gotta do one last job for him first. Yeah. Okay. You should come with me. Yeah? Nah, I... Skizzle's got me on farm duty. Feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. Fuck Skizzle, I'll drop you off right afterward. When's the last time you saw a helicopter? Tell him he twisted my arm. Never gets old, <laughs> does it? Where are we headed? Over toward Malakwa Lake. You know where that is? Yeah, it's just north of the Rogue Tunnel off uh, Waldo Road. So what are we doing there? Nero Chopper's gonna be on the ground doing whatever the hell it is that they do. O'Brien wants me to see what they're up to. So, O'Brien, he's, uh, he's what? Your, your shot caller? Handler? No! Jesus, Boozer, you know why the hell we're out here. Just asking. Seems like he tells you to jump. You ask how high. It's not how it is. You know, I actually don't mind working on the farm, pulling weeds and shit. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to go out to my uncle's farm out at uh, by Adrian on the Idaho border. Spend summers working the beet fields. <laughs> they had a little dirt bike I tooled around on. That's where I learned to ride. If you're not careful, I'm gonna start calling you Farmer Bill. Sight, stay close. Whatever happens, don't let them see you. They can get a little trigger happy. Okay, okay, got it. Stay down, keep my mouth shut, don't get us killed. Hey, thanks for bringing me along, Deke. It's good to get out again. Even riding bitch, you know? <laughs> yeah. Right behind you. I haven't heard that for a while. Yeah. There it is. 
Jesus. Never thought I'd see one of those again. In the air, I mean. All right, now watch. The soldiers come out first, they secure the LZ. Then their boy genius, researcher, scientist, whatever the hell, he comes out and he looks around. Do what? Whatever science shit they're doing out here. How the hell would I know? You're the one who's been spying on them. <laughs> okay, wait here. something out of this. samples. You mean shit? Yes. Freak shit? Yes. <laughs> so, we're out here in the middle of nowhere, so you can pick up freak shit. Precisely. <laughs> okay. Field note 2102. After analysis of scat samples from zones 2, 3, and 4B, there is clear evidence of Claytonia perfoliata. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce. Please don't interrupt. As well as manicious berries from Juniperus communis. <coughs> so, why do we care? Why do we care? Because it means <coughs> the freaks are eating more than just us and each other. They're eating berries, plants, grass, needles, basically anything a deer would eat. They're omnivores, just like us, but with stomachs <coughs> that can digest a much wider range of cellulose. Yeah, okay. And what? It means they're not gonna starve when they run out of us to eat. The freaks aren't going away anytime soon. Shit. That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. I'm done here. Okay. Uh, head back to the bike.
You catch any of that over my radio? That's pretty fucked up. Good taxpayer money, and they're out here collecting freaker shit. Yeah, I told you. Who knows what they're doing, or why? Oh, they gotta have a base around here somewhere, right? You try following them? Yeah, but they always disappear over the mountains heading south, and with the highway choked off, I can never get close. Sons of bitches. Seems like they got a lot to answer for. Yeah. Where are we headed now? It's a good question. O'Brien, are you there? Come in, O'Brien. I'm here. Finished? Yeah, it's done. Where am I meeting you? I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm sending you the coordinates now, but it might take a few minutes to get there. O'Brien out. Jesus, what the hell does he think I've been doing out here? Hey, you're right about one thing. He does sound like an asshole. Wait here. I don't want him getting skittish because I brought someone along. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bike. I've seen enough Nero assholes for one day. Okay, I'll be back. O'Brien said he had news. He knew her middle name. Irene. She can't be alive. But he's alive. Why not her, huh? <laughs> That you got. All right, look, I'm gonna lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that we, they, they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, no problem. And, and you, uh, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was in, admitted to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was. You survived. The stab wound, she survived. Yeah, yeah. According to the records, she made a full recovery. And then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay. of the Okay, so, so she could still be alive. Even after all this time, she could still be alive, you're saying? No. What do you mean, no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. You survived. They survived. Look, 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 look. there was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w w is... An artery. Infected freaks poured up from LA, from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel, some feds, people with clearance. Nero personnel, the soldiers, the guys with the guns, the guys that should have been protecting no, no, the there's civilians. There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, They're no, too strong. I know all They're about hordes. Oh, I know that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. You could have saved a few lives. There was no hope, there was no time, there was no room, okay? We had already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. Look, I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand. If you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would have been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. <laughs> you 
know if you had decided to stay? The only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? <laughs> O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. So you're sorry. Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? Oh, damn it. All things are wasted. God damn it. Okay. What the hell? Boozer? Boozer? Oh, God damn it, Booze, man. Where the hell did you go? Ah, shit. Right. Booze, man, where the hell did you go? Boot tracks. That's gotta be his. Gotta take a closer look. What the hell is this? Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Uh, this way. Deke, you still there? This is Ricky. Deacon St. John. Uh, yeah, Ricky, I'm here. What's up? Schizo's been asking for you. Said Boozer never showed up for his work duty. I, I was worried. No, look, we're fine. We just had some stuff that we needed to get done. Tell Schizo we'll be back in an hour. Okay. Hey, I'm almost ready to head back out there and fix that transformer. You still in? Uh, yeah. Yeah, just, uh, great. Let me know when. I can feel that hot water now. Gonna let that shower run forever. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's that it sounds great. Listen, uh, Ricky, I, I got it. All right, where? There you are. Over here! Oh, Jesus, Boozer, what the hell? I figured I'd do a little shopping while we were out, and I ran into a pack of rippers hunting dogs. Oh, easy, fella. He's not infected. You are he's, shit. he's just a dog. They're hunting down and killing healthy dogs. No, just, no, we can't, we can't leave him here, Deke. Uh, we just, we can't, we right, can't do right, it. Here, here, let me, uh, let me do it. Really? You, you can... Okay, boy. Okay, you see, it's okay. Just take... It's okay, just... That's it, all right. It's okay, big guy. Rest. Ready? Oh yeah, brother. I'm ready. Come on. 
Sounds disappointed. Well, I just I hate those sons of bitches, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on, let's uh let's get the hell out of here. Now, what happened back there? You seem sort of, I don't know, like uh like you lost it. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just I needed some payback for this shit. But uh there's never gonna be enough payback, is there? You know? If you hadn't made this shit for me, you know, my arm, I mean, I don't know where I'd be. I, mean, I guess I'd... Well... You know. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, not like I got a choice. Not like any of us do, right? Yeah, okay, come on. There's your bike. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, uh, what go? You know, goddamn what? Your guy in the spacesuit, what'd he say? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Hey, come on, goddammit. <sighs> Boozer, you really don't want to be doing that right now. Oh, yeah? You think I need more than this to take down your scrawny little ass? Come on, what'd he say? Drop it. Seriously, what happened to Sarah? Huh? Where's your old lady? Where's your old lady? Huh? <clears throat> Stay down, brother. Had enough? Where's your old lady, Deke? She's dead, Boozer. Sarah's dead. Yeah, and she's been dead a long time. So don't you think that you mourned her long enough? Oh, God. I think. I think that you have a hell of a left hook, asshole. Oh. Yeah, it's the only move I got. <laughs> Come on, man. Jeez. I gotta get my sorry ass back to work. Camp ain't gonna feed itself. Okay. Yeah. It's the only move I got. Still, I tagged your ass with it three times in a row. Oh, fucking shameful. <laughs> Where are we headed? Back to camp. No, no. I still gotta work a shift. Give me a ride up there. It's it's just north of Sherman's camp. Okay. That and there was nothing you or anyone could have done about it. 
I should have been there. And what good would that have done? Just drop it, it's done. Schizo, you there? Lost Lake Camp, Schizo. Yeah, yeah, what's up? We just had a run in with. Hey, where the hell is you, bro? We skipped work duty today. What the hell, man? We just, just shut up and listen to me. I was giving him a ride to the work site, and we were attacked by Ripper. Jesus. Where? Outside of Rogue Camp. You gotta tell Iron Mike. Carlos is coming, and he is not going to stop. What do you think I've been telling? For months. Yeah, I'll let him know. Red right toward Tumalo now. Loser will be at the site in a few minutes. Well, that's great, because he owes the camp another half shift for the work he's missed. Shut up, Schizo. Hey, Dink. Well, road camp is kind of in the opposite direction of Tumalo, isn't it? We took the scenic route. Out. Asshole. Goddamn Schizo. Come on, you guys. Come on, keep working. Keep at it. We don't work, we don't eat. Right already. That's it. Hey. Thanks for the ride. We all start. There you go. Take John to Lost Lake Camp. Come back. Deke, I hear you. Mike, good. Look, Boozer and I, uh, we just had a run in with Rippers. They. Listen, no, Mike. They were here in Rogue Camp. Rogue Camp? There were Rippers in Rogue Camp? You sure it was Rippers? How am I sure? Oh, Jesus, Mike, yeah. They're kind of hard to miss, you know, with the scars and acting crazy, killing anything that moves. All right, just calm down. Now, we got a parlay with Carlos. Schizo's heading over to Iron Butte tomorrow. He'll find out what the hell's going on, and then we'll... You're sending Schizo to parlay with Carlos, Jesus, Mike. Don't tell me how to run my camp, Deke. Like I said, my treaty is gonna hold. Lost Lake out. Hell, whatever you say, Mike. Whatever you say, Schizo's right. You're gonna get everyone killed.
use them screaming? They disappear for two years, come back guns blazing. Don't bother trying to find out. You'll get yourself killed. Besides, we already know. We watch them skulk around. Thinking they know these woods better than me. They're doing something with the freaks. Tracking them. Studying them. Watching them. Making notes in their little notebooks. And you know why? They're gathering info. Seeing how long it takes for these sons of bitches to die or starve off. Probably trying to get a read on when the feds can reemerge from their hidey holes and crawl back and down in just positions of power. For once, the freaks are on our side. The longer they're here, the longer the feds can rot down there in their stony prison. The world may not be ours anymore, but thanks to the freaks, it doesn't belong to the feds either. This is part of the Radio Free Oracle. Don't believe the lies. Once again, Cope, you don't know shit. Freaks ain't on anybody's side. In the world, it already belongs to them. Deke, this is Tucker. You out there? Tuck, yeah, I'm here, and I'm guessing you got another job for me. So, okay, I'll stop by, digging out. Deke, where you at, brother? Hey, Boozer, I'm, uh, I'm heading up to Marion Forks. Marion Forks? I decided. No, it's like you said. I've, uh... <laughs> yep, burn to hell. I decided. Hell, it's like you said. I've uh, I've mourned her long enough. It's um, time to say goodbye. You heading to the church? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Jesus, Deke. It's the last time, Boozer. I swear, Deacon out. Open up. Hey, Deke. What's going on? Deacon St. John. Hey, Damon. How's life? Anything else I can get for you? Good choice. Nice.
Come by any time. See ya, Deke. St. John, I got a bounty job for you. I'm listening. You're looking for Ned Walker. Wears a red scarf. He and his crew came to the gate the other night. We wouldn't let him in. He killed one of my guards, then took off. Hmm. You have someone to follow him? He's holed up at a marauder camp, just north of O'Leary Mountain. I think you know where that is. No, but I'll find him. Gonna close my eyes for a bit. <sighs> that should do it. I'm watching. I lived in this little town called Sisters, outside of Farewell. I was home, sick as hell, fever. I tried calling my wife at work, just got a busy signal. Then I heard the chopper fly by overhead. Nero, on a loudspeaker, they, they were warning everyone to stay indoors. We heard they were setting up quarantine zones. Thought it was only Portland. I got up. I got in my car, tried to get into town. The mobs had already started rioting. Well, more mobs. I didn't know that then. Deacon St. John. Hey, Damon. Hey, Deacon, good to see you. You looking for something? Yo, you need fuel? Okay, man. See you around, D.
Cope, uh, the man he killed, who was it? A young kid. Everyone called him Gopher. Never knew his real name. Gopher. How old was he? Like I said, a kid. 19, 20? No idea how he lasted this long. But he was a good kid. Why are you asking? No reason. If you spent more time at the camp, got to know folks, maybe you'd find a reason. Go bow. How's it going?
Done. You won't be hearing from that walker again. Bring me his bandana. I want to see it for myself. Cope out. <sighs> yeah, of course you do. That should be it. Runners!
It's nothing like scrap.